Well hello there, today we talk about this setup here. This is a geothermally powered steam turbine setup. The steam turbines are here to extract the heat from the aqua tuner setup. The aqua tuner is there to cool your base or in this case to cool the metal tiles above the steam turbines. Meaning you can either use this here to cool your base overall or to cool a giant water reservoir above that. If you want to use the heat from the steam turbines, stop cooling these tiles here, transfer your cooling loop to other places in the base and put regular water here. The water will then heat up over time and you can use the heat on other places in the base. Just make sure that this pool stays under around 70 degrees Celsius because what we use here is ethanol as shown here in the gas overlay and in the liquid overlay. Ethanol has the awesome feature of turning into a gaseous state at around 78.4 degrees Celsius. You need to add 3 more degrees for it to actually turn. When it turns, it turns gaseous as already mentioned. The ethanol gas though, if we can find it here, has a condensation point of 78.4 and a different special heat capacity, the leading heat when condensating. This is why we cool the metal tiles here. Even though they are just 30 degrees, it is enough to cool down the ethanol gas. It will drop down, turn liquid again, the steam turbines will heat up, turn it gaseous again and so we do have a nice circle. The leading heat saving us um, the necessity to actually cool the steam turbines actively. We just cool the metal tiles above them. We technically don't even have to cool cool them with the steam turbines or with this aqua tune here, we can just drop any form of colder liquid, water, ice and so on above it and connect it with the metal tiles here. So what else did I add? Well since we do have ethanol at around 80 degrees down here in this room, we can just drop a little bit of a raw egg. Raw egg has the nice feature that once it gets picked up, come on, I'm having this here as an energy saving method so we don't go over the limit of the cable. We just need to wait for this to actually go green. The auto sweeper will pick it up, put it in the conveyor loader. The conveyor loader will then turn on when this gets red and send the egg in tiny increments through this conveyor rail here. And since the temperature is really high, it will turn to omelets at around this point here, where the auto sweeper then will pick it up if the other auto sweeper is not activated at the same time. For energy saving reasons, as I mentioned that before, let's turn this to green. It will get picked up, put in the conveyor loader and then sent down the same conveyor rail but this time as omelette. But only after all of the egg has been processed. It will then get stored in an infinite storage with hydrogen gas to the left which is super cold and keeps the omelettes fresh for basically ever. Can you just show it to me again please? Just here. Total change per cycle 0%. Of course this is not viable in a normal base. It would be smarter to place this more like here or a few floors above that. But this is just to show you the principle. The cooling for this comes from this thermoregulator here which runs only two steel pipes through the infinite food storage, goes in a circle, does not touch the metal tiles, that is unnecessary. We only go from insulation to insulation and then goes back into here. The temperature gets checked. And with this we have a cooling loop. Once this is cool, this does no longer have to work. If you put in hot food, it has to work for a short while, but then gets turned off again. The power grid consists of a single conductive wire, which technically goes above the 2000 watts of power, but since we do have an automation for the auto sweeper and the auto sweeper to the right, telling us that only one auto sweeper can be activated at the same time, or only the auto sweeper or the conveyor loader on the right can be activated at the same time, we hover at around 1800 watts if all the machinery is turned on at the same time. This includes the thermoregulator, the thermo aqua tuner, one of the auto sweepers here, auto sweeper or conveyor loader and one of the auto sweepers here in the middle plus the conveyor loader at the same time. So if you want to use this setup for power generation you can just expand it by adding something like this to the left or to the right. You don't need the food storage here. Please place it above it. It was just to show you how this can work. And then you can build something like this, have the excess power in your base and you have a combined cooling and energy system that is completely geothermally powered. Very energy efficient because of the ethanol deleting heat as well as the steam turbines deleting heat. With a setup like this you have the ethanol not condensing. It still transfers the heat pretty effectively, but I would suggest having a liquid that is at least below the condensation point of 78 degrees Celsius. So let's assume we have a liquid here, crude oil at 60 degrees. 
then this should be enough for the ethanol to turn liquid again. Rain down, cool the steam turbine until they get hot enough, turn into gas again and condensate on the cool metal tiles again. Yeah, I basically just wanted to show you how you can save a little bit of cooling power by integrating ethanol into your setups. Instead of cooling your steam turbines directly, just cool metal tiles. This technically should be more efficient that way. And now I show you the overlay for the automation. The settings here from the timer sensor are 2020, 2020, this year is set to basically everything and this year is set to 0.2 units. If you set it to 0.2 units of raw egg, the egg will turn into an omelette here on the left. If you set it to 0.1 units, the egg will turn to an omelette here on the right. The gas pipe thermo sensor is set to minus 40 degrees celsius and the liquid pipe thermo sensor is set to 4 degrees celsius because we are using polluted water. And that's pretty much it guys. If you have any questions, just wanted to show you my hopefully more energy efficient way to integrate steam turbines and ethanol into a cooling setup. Love you guys and Luma out.